Hey everybody, this tutorial is going to help you to do something that should make all of our lives easier and that is to use Google Drive on an iPad as a way to upload video directly into Google Drive. So the hope is that this will eliminate having to sync your iPad up to a computer, transfer files to the computer and then upload them to Google Drive. Uh, we're also going to, this tutorial is also going to briefly go over how to rename a file in the Google Drive app on the actual iPad. And then just going to talk about what to do after you have uploaded um, your video file or image file. So we got to pick a starting point and the easiest thing to do is to download the Google Drive app if it isn't already on the iPad and I'm going to be getting some iPads and putting that on there but you need the Google Drive app and the app looks like a triangle that is yellow green and blue I'm gonna tap on it and open it up And when I open up Google Drive um, you can see all these different folders there because clearly I have way too much time in my uh, life um, I've created a dummy folder called Video Test. You can see that there. And I'm going to use that folder to show you how easy it is to upload video or image files. So I'm going to tap on Video Test. I'm going to go into the folder that I would like to upload my video or images. Tap on that. You can see my folder is empty at this point. It's really simple to upload video. There is a blue plus, well, a white plus sign in a blue circle in the lower right hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and tap that. When I tap that, I get a sub menu that's titled New. And uploading is the name of the game right now, so I'm going to tap on the upload icon, which again says upload underneath it, but is an arrow pointing upward. I tap on that. Another sub menu opens up. Um, and you're going to want to select the first item on that sub menu, which is photos and videos. I will go ahead and tap that. I tap that. Once again, another sub menu opens up titled albums. But here is where we can really see the power of doing uh, the uploading this way. The albums sub menu on it, you can see your camera roll, which is where your iPad stores any video or pictures. You're going to tap on camera roll. And then you're going to see all of your different video and image files. And all you have to do is tap on the ones you want to upload. So I'm going to upload these wacky pictures here just to show you how this works. When you've selected the files that you want to upload, there is a grayed out check mark in the upper right hand corner of this uh, window that's open. You're going to tap on that. Once you do that, the iPad uploads the video directly into your folder on Google Drive. Very simple. When it's done, it tells you four uploads are complete in this case. Let's say I wanted to rename them once they got up there so that they could be easily tracked by anyone on the uh, trip team. Each image or video file is going to have three dots next to it and if you tap on those three dots sort of next to the name I should say when you tap on that it gives you some options and one of the options is to rename you tap on rename and you can just type whatever you want to call it I'll call this dummy file just to show you how easy it is whoops not dummy file when you've got your name tap rename the file changes its name to what you want to call it. That's pretty much it. Now I would recommend just to be certain although um, if you see the files up here you can be pretty certain they have uploaded but you can also just test it by tapping on the actual file and it should open up. If it is a video file it should begin playing. If it does not then it is not safe to remove it from the iPad there must be something going on now some of your video files might be larger than they're going to be clearly there they will clearly be larger than these um, image files that I uploaded it might take a little bit of time depending on the bandwidth to upload um, the iPad or the Google Drive app will let you know when it is uploaded but before you delete it from your iPad make sure it actually works 
okay, uh, just as a security feature.